welcome back to my channel. My name is Annelise and today I will be reviewing the new Zara fragrance collection called Infusion Collection. This is actually their chapter 9 of the whole chapter series of fragrances and it contains of four new fragrances called Juicy Infusion, Ruby Infusion, Pistachio Infusion and Secret Infusion. These fragrances come in bottles of 30 ml of EDP and they retail for roughly 13 euros in Europe, roughly 18 US dollars and roughly 20 Canadian dollars. But first, if you're like me and you love Zara fragrances or you're just trying to get to know them a little bit better, feel free to subscribe to my channel. I have several other Zara fragrance related videos up on there. And every time Zara comes out with new fragrances, I order them so I can review them for you. I also have other fragrance uh, videos, but mostly Zara. Now, about this collection, um, I found this collection to be, um, hmm, like so-so. Honestly, I'm not wildly impressed. The last two collections I reviewed, um, that was the Sensitive Metallics and the Silent Flowers uh, by Jo Malone for Zara. Those two actually really impressed me. I thought both collections were um, had some really good fragrances, good quality, good uh, well-blended fragrances. Um, these four, honestly, in general, um, I think they're fine, but they didn't really wow me. They're what I call why not fragrances? So when you're standing at the registry and uh, while you're waiting, you just give the fragrances a little sniff. Um, you know, they smell nice. So it, it might be that you're like, yeah, you know, I might as well pick this up. Why not? It's cheap. It smells cute. I'll pick it up. But if you ask me, these aren't really must have fragrances, although nothing is a must have fragrance. Actually, I hate the word must have. Like, I don't have to have anything, but you know what I mean. Like, honestly, I wouldn't really strongly recommend going out to try them. They are fine. They are not super impressive. So let's just start with the first one and I'm gonna be reviewing them in order of me having tested them. And the first one is called Pistachio Infusion. So Pistachio Infusion has notes of tonka bean, iris and pistachio. And when I first sprayed it on, um, I did really like it at first, so it is a nice, very pleasant scent. And the first thing that came to my mind when I smelt it was applesauce. Like cinnamon infused applesauce. No, not infused. Cinnamon spiced applesauce. It has the cinnamony sweetness, but there's also definitely like that tartness that an apple or applesauce has. So it's sweet with a little bit of a citric thing going on. So I did think it was nice, um, but it reminded me a lot of uh, Killian's, Killian Angel Share, um, which you probably already know is a very popular fragrance. I don't know if it's still that popular today. I feel like the hype is sort of fading out. But yeah, it's a gourmand. It's a very apple pie type of fragrance. I think this one is reminiscent of it. I don't know if I should really call it a dupe. Sort of depends on your own definition of a dupe, but it's definitely that type of fragrance. It smells similar, but more, um, I would say more youthful and more tart. In the dry down, there was a little bit of soft smokiness. So I'm thinking that might be the iris. Iris has a little bit of a powdery note, but I wouldn't really call this powdery. Like I said, I would describe the dry down to be um, just like a really nice, soft smokiness, but not actual smoke. Sort of like the iris in uh, one of my favorite Zara fragrances, um, Tuesday Totally Terrific. That one has iris, cardamom, and whipped cream, I think. The iris in that one also gives a little bit of a soft smokiness, and I think the iris in this one does the same, but only in the dry down. And in the dry down, the tartness um, goes away and it becomes more like apple pie. So it goes from applesauce to apple pie. This is not the first time that Zara made a angel's share 
inspired fragrance. In the men's collection, there's a fragrance called uh, Sand Desert at Sunset, which is totally unisex and absolutely a dupe or inspired by um, Angel Share fragrance. So this is quite similar, but I do think because of that tartness, um, it's a little bit more youthful. So if you want Angel Share or Sand Desert at Sunset, but for someone who's a little bit younger, I'm actually thinking like teens or twenties, um, then this might be a nice option. There is also another Zara fragrance in that same type of uh, scents and it's called Nocturnal Life. Although that one, it is similar, but I think that one has um, a cacao note or chocolate, something in that area, which does make it, if you ask me, nicer, but that's just my personal opinion. I do prefer Nocturnal Life over this one, but nevertheless, I did like it. Um, if I had to rate it, I would give it a, hmm, I think I'm gonna give it a seven out of 10 because it's a pleasant fragrance. I'm not in love with it. And you're probably wondering, is there pistachio in here? And you know what? I'm kind of finding it hard. I think there is a pistachio note, but it's more of a synthetic pistachio. And also it's not really that super pistachio heavy. So I feel like they were trying to go in a pistachio direction, but honestly, um, if they would have named this fragrance apple pie infusion, I'm not sure whether you would really pick up on the pistachio note, but that could just be me. Um, I think it's a cinnamony apple pie or applesauce type of fragrance. I found the projection to be um, fine. It was okay, just moderate. It wasn't super weak. It wasn't super strong, just fine. I think if you overspray this, I think you will have a really nice scent bubble. And the longevity, kind of the same thing, um, just sort of average, wasn't too bad, wasn't great. Um, so yeah, that was pistachio infusion. Next up, we have juicy infusion. This fragrance has notes of jasmine, pear, and black currant. And honestly, when I sniffed it, I was like, this is just a nice, fresh shampoo. It is nothing special. It's nothing I've never smelled before. Um, it honestly even reminds me of uh, the dishwasher soap. I don't know what the brand is called in the States and Canada, but I will put it up on the screen. But the apple scented dishwasher soap um, or an apple scented shampoo, that is what I'm smelling. Even though it's pear that's in here and black currant, I don't know, I'm just getting green apple. Honestly, it's nice, but it is super, simple and kind of basic and there's nothing wrong with it. I don't think you can really hate this scent, but can you really, really love it? I mean, there's nothing spectacular about it. It's a nice, freshy, shampooy fragrance. If I were to smell this on a person, I would just think, um, oh, okay, you know, this person just took a shower and um, washed their hair. They smell fresh and clean. Period. Let me know in the comments if you're also getting that green apple scent because I know it's not in the notes, but honestly with Zara, I don't really, I take the notes given with a little bit of salt as I feel like they're sort of trying to steer us in a certain direction. So when you see the notes, you think that is what you're smelling when maybe you're not. I try not to look at notes before I smell or I test smell my fragrances just so I don't get, you know, steered in, into that direction. And the first thing I smelled was, yeah, apple shampoo. Unfortunately for this one, you know, it's an EDP, they all are, but it definitely performs as a weak EDT. I sprayed it on my wrist, it smelled nice. After about 30 minutes, I really had to, you know, I really had to press my nose against my skin in order to smell it. And after an hour, it was gone. So um, it doesn't really project. Well, it may project somewhat if you like drowse yourself in it. 
You may have some projection in the first 30 minutes or so, maybe even an hour if you spray it on clothes. But honestly, I was very disappointed with this performance. So the scent in itself is not bad. I think I would rate this. I can't really give it more than a six just because it's so, um, you know, shampoo-y smelling. And it doesn't even smell like, like an expensive shampoo or a luxurious shampoo. I don't mind shampoo fragrances, but this one just smells like, sort of like a cheap shampoo. And there's nothing wrong with that. It smells fine, but yeah, a six is the most that I can give. But honestly, because it has such bad performance and longevity, I'm giving this fragrance a five out of 10, which is the max I can give. I don't wanna give it any less because it's not a bad fragrance. Yeah, that's just me. Let me know in the comments if you also smell that apple or if it's just me. But yeah, that was Juicy Infusion. Moving on to the next one, which is called Secret Infusion. And this one, um, I actually liked. I think I might like this one the most from all four fragrances. So when you first spray it, it sort of has the same, it's like the same type of fragrance as the previous one. So it's also fruity, but a lot sweeter then uh, Juicy Infusion. Also has a clean sort of shower jelly type of vibe, but nice, I do like it. So what I picked up on first was the sweetness of the fruit. So it's fruity, yes, but it's a lot sweeter and I am really struggling sometimes to recognize the notes, um, but apparently this has pear. I guess it does. I'm not saying it doesn't have pear, but I was trying to guess, you know, okay, what fruit am I smelling? I was like, am I smelling grapes? Hmm, no. And I was like, am I smelling strawberry? Yes. So if you ask me, it's sort of strawberry-like. But maybe it's a mixture of pear and strawberry. But I did like it and it did really instantly remind me of another fragrance which I couldn't pinpoint exactly. So I was sniffing it and I was sniffing and I was like, what is this reminding me of? And then um, another Zara fragrance came to mind which is called Go Fruity. This fragrance has been discontinued, but I've noticed that sometimes they discontinue this one just to re-release it later. It's a very popular fragrance as it is an almost one-on-one -on -one dupe of uh, Burberry Her. So my gut feeling tells me that they will re-release Go Fruity by the springtime or the summertime. Don't quote me on that, but if you like that fragrance, I, I would suggest to keep your eye on the Zara website. But anyway, this doesn't smell exactly the same, but it has, it has that sweet fruity note. Although I did find this one to have sort of a really nice um, softness, let's say. I guess that's the cedar and that violet, you know, they give a little bit of extra softness to this fragrance. So I think Go Fruity is just fruit which I always thought was nice, but I felt like it lacked something, at least to me. This one has the fruit, the sweetness of the fruit, but sort of that, yeah, like I said, the softness of the cedar and um, it just makes it a little bit better. So this was yesterday and then this morning I gave it another sniff and I was like, oh wait, no, this reminds me of another Zara fragrance called Orchid. And I actually owned this fragrance. It was years ago. I decluttered it, I think, like maybe a year ago or a year and a half ago. I liked that fragrance back in the day and I did wear it. And I'm not saying this smells exactly like Orchid, but it's definitely that type of fragrance. It smells similar. I would say if, if you ask me, I think if Zara's Go Fruity and Zara's Orchid had a baby, this would probably be it. I always go on Fragrantica after I've sniffed and written down my thoughts and I saw someone comparing this to Versace Bright Crystal and honestly, I haven't smelled that fragrance in a really, really long time. I'm thinking like over 10 years at least. But when I saw that and I gave it another sniff, I was like, yeah, they're right. I think Versace Bright Crystal has a sharpness um, for as far as I can remember, that I didn't like. So I liked the fragrance, but not enough because of that sharp edge. This one doesn't have that. So the sharp edge in 
Versace, is it crystal, bright crystal, right? So Versace bright crystal has the sharpness, which is being replaced in this one with the sweetness. I like it. Um, it's not a bad fragrance. The scent in itself um, is very pleasant. You do have to like a little bit of a sweeter fragrance. I would rate this fragrance, um, let's say a seven as well. But honestly, the performance wasn't super great. It wasn't as weak as Juicy Infusion, but it wasn't super strong either. I would say just average, moderate, you know, if you spray enough, I think it lasts better on clothes than on skin. But yeah, that was Secret Infusion. And we have reached our final one, which is called Ruby Infusion, which has notes of sugar, marshmallow, cotton candy, blackcurrant, and vanilla. Okay, so I did see these notes on the box. I tried to not look at them, but I saw them anyway. And I was like, ooh, I am not going to like this fragrance. I see cotton candy, I see sugar, and I'm like, ooh, no, this is not gonna be my thing. But you know what? I'm gonna give it a try anyway. And I gave it a spray, and you know what? I was absolutely right. I hate it. I really, really strongly dislike this fragrance. And that is because this is clearly another dupe or inspired by, again, it sort of depends on your own definition of a dupe, but it is a dupe of um, another Killian fragrance, Love Don't Be Shy. And I don't know if you know this, but Zara actually already duped Love Don't Be Shy twice. So they duped Angel's Share twice with Sand Desert at Sunset and, um, well, the other dupe-ish, uh, Nocturnal Life. Love Don't Be Shy has also been duped twice. Um, they duped it with, it was in the Minimal Collection, um, Velvet something, I will put it up on the screen. So in the Minimal Collection, which of course I reviewed, I will link that video down in the description below and up here on the screen. But there was a Velvet something fragrance that was a pretty close dupe to Love Don't Be Shy or PDM Oriana, that one. I think Love Don't Be Shy and Oriana are super similar. So if you're, if you know those fragrances really well, you probably can distinguish the differences. But to me, they're pretty much the same. So yeah, that was a, a really good dupe for that if you like those fragrances. And then in a later collection, which was like a Christmas edition of the Minimal Collection, they duped it again with a fragrance. I again cannot remember the name. I will put it up on the screen. Um, it was in a blue, give me a sign. I think it was, I think it was that one. I think it was, yeah, I'm not sure, but I will put it up on the screen. It was a blue bottle and it also smelled very inspired by Love Don't Be Shy. So back to this fragrance, this is again, that same type of DNA, which is just absolutely not my thing. Of course, that doesn't mean that it's a bad fragrance because if you like, love don't be shy type of fragrances, I think you're really gonna like this one. So this is good news, um, just in case you missed the minimal collection one, Velvet. Ha! Ah, now I wanna know the name. I really can't remember. But if you missed that one and the other one, you are in luck because this is again a dupe for it. But yeah, for me, it's an absolute pass. I dislike this fragrance a lot. And also you can't tell me that there isn't any orange or mandarin or anything in here. The notes say black currant, but honestly, I don't really believe it. Like I said, I don't really believe the notes that Zari gives us, or at least not always. Yeah, my personal rating, which is absolutely not objective, my personal rating, <sighs> I think it's a two out of 10 and I'm even being generous. But of course, if you like this type of fragrance, you're gonna love it. Let me know in the comments. It's also a little bit hard to comment on the longevity as I could absolutely smell this for a long time. I sprayed it on the inside of my arm here and um, I could smell it the whole time, but that is because I'm so appalled by this scent. So it's normal that I can smell it for a long time. 
Even after I washed it off, I could still smell it. I had the same with the velvet one. So definitely not a terrible performer, but um, yeah, I didn't really, like I said, I washed it off, so I don't really know how long it stays, but I'm thinking sort of average at least. So yeah, give it a try. Let me know what you think. And that was Ruby Infusion. So that was it for this collection. I'm already letting you know that I have ordered and received the two new vanilla fragrances as, what, what are they called? Sensual Vanilla and Angelic Vanilla. And I've also uh, received my Sensual Oud. So a review video of those fragrances will be coming up soon. And I will also upload a new video about the re-release. Um, they re-released chapter, I think it was chapter five or six with Sultry Pear, Marshmallow Addiction, Cherry Smoothie and Peach Glow. I will also be doing a new video on that one. Even though I already reviewed it last year, um, I'm not super happy with that video. So that one is coming up as well. So stay tuned for those videos. Again, feel free to subscribe to my channel um, and let me know in the comments what you think of this collection. Like I said, it's so, so for me. It's not great. I'm not super impressed by them, but would love to hear your thoughts. And again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you for the next one. Bye.